What was the lowest score you got? Next question, please. Next question, please. <laughs> I thought I did really great on my bio prelim, but it turns out I'm like below average. Our average was 97, which is like, why what? is everyone in Cornell so smart, right? Well, first of all, I prayed my butt off. Okay. <laughs> I okay. prayed my butt off. I'm here by the mercy and grace of God. Wait, guys, I'm recovering from bronchitis, so please be patient. <laughs> Hi, it's Jasmine. So today I'll be going around Cornell's campus. It's fall time right now, and I'll be just asking people questions. This is one of the many uh, videos I'll be having in the series, but this one will be the one more informative for academics for whoever's app applying to Cornell this year and the uh, years in the future. So enjoy. Today I'm here with uh, Melanie, Akela. Is this? <laughs> My mom, and my mom literally named me Jasmine because she heard it at a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> so not original. Anyways though, um, where are you from, what's your major, and what year are you? Uh, so I'm from Syracuse. I am a BSoC major and my year? Oh, biology and society. Okay. And I am a sophomore. Um, I'm from the Bronx. Sure. I <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sophomore and I'm a biological science major. Okay, down. No, we run into so many pre meds and like it's bio so majors. Bad. It's crazy. Here. <laughs> okay, um, really quickly too. Um, what is your high school GPA, SAT, or ACT? Um, high school GPA uh, was a four point five weighted, four point oh unweighted. I don't remember what I took on the SAT. Or actually, I didn't take the SAT. I took the PSAT. Um, I got like a twelve thirty nine. But you see, you see, you don't need the SAT to get you it. You don't need, need the SAT. SAT. You're so right. Screw college board. Okay, wait, don't take my acceptance away. Don't resign it. Okay. Uh, my. I don't even know how unweighted and weighted works because my school wouldn't tell me. But I know that I had. I think I was a 4.0. Probably unweighted. Probably. Yeah. Probably unweighted. I don't know what it was weighted, but I was valedictorian. Per. So I don't. I. Me too. <laughs> weighted. I don't remember my SATs. I do, but let's just say it was not what Cornell wanted. <laughs> so I didn't show it, and I'm here. <laughs> you want to share it? It just with no shit. It's like it was like a, it was like a 1100. I was like. Yes! <laughs> I don't blame you, shit. And I was like, I wasn't constantly studying. I didn't really, was just like, listen, quarantine happened. I was like, okay, bet. I'm just not gonna do the SATs. Like, that's it. Like, <laughs> go off. But she's here. You both are here. Yeah, like, both, both are here. Okay, exactly. Um, and then for, I'm sure like you had really bomb essays then. Like, I'm right. pretty sure. So like, uh, what did you write your personal statement on or Cornell essay? Whatever one you feel comfortable sharing. Oh, really <laughs> um, <laughs> so my like generic essay that was on the, what's it? The, uh, what, what, what's that? The common app? Yeah, the common app. Thank you. <laughs> listen, listen. I'm two years removed from that. Like, everything before Sorry, Cornell, don't off. remember. <laughs> no, for real. Um, what did I write? So my, um, common app essay was about, um, in senior year of high school, I was, like, a little confused as to what I wanted to do with my life. So I... <laughs> come in, come in. Come in. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna run. No, oh, no, no, you're good. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Uh, <laughs> have a good time. What are you doing? And so my essay was about how I'm like at this crossroads in my life, and I'm not really sure how I want to proceed. Da, 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 da. And then <laughs> my, um, so I applied to A and S for Cornell, and so they asked me like why I chose undecided as my number one major and psych as my number two major. I decided, I said, oh, well, you know, I'm at this crossroads in my life. I don't know what I'm going to do. I feel like ANS is going to be really great to explore my interests, stuff like that. And then for psych, I said that, like, I had grown up watching, like, a lot of, um, like, psychology videos. And I was, like, really Yes. Yes. Hell yeah. A mental floss, like, a bunch of, like, random, like, <laughs> like uh, British documentaries on mental illness. I was really into that, and I explained that in my essay. Also, like some mental illness is one in my family, so I was like, you know what, I kind of want to like treat that and like maybe even find a cure for some of them someday. That's what I said in my essays. Aww. And you? Um, <laughs> I told her this, but when I applied to Cornell, I did it like two hours before the last application was due. Um, my personal statement was just about how like 
my grandmother had gotten sick and like it made me really just think about life and like you know we don't have a lot to live for mm -hmm. so you got to make the most of it and make the best relationships for my personal like for the cornell essay because i did apply as pass and my first major was bio um biological sciences and they just asked me like what do you think you would do here and i was just like okay so i watched i forgot her name it was like angie Angie? I, I Angelia? Okay, she was like, you call your essay about this girl? <laughs> <laughs> I wrote my essay about, like, based on her YouTube videos, because she would okay, always explain, like, how to get into court now. So I just explained, like, oh, like, if I was here, I would want to, like, do research with one of the, um, oh. one of the professors about, like, like, neurodevelopment, because that was a sickness my grandmother had, and then just see what I can do there and then focus on like um, Pac women on the in Cornell and like them struggling as a pre med student and how it differs with like yes, people uplifting who are not, people right, right. Yeah. hell yeah per per <laughs> <laughs> okay um to like choose your question um what is one thing that you've done at Cornell that you do not want your parents to know about <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm trying to get into med school. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, um, I've done a number of things I'm not proud of. You know? <laughs> I'm just leaving it at that. <laughs> um, one thing that I'm not proud of, I don't really have, okay. I feel like my mom, I tell her everything. That's the problem. <laughs> but one thing I guess she doesn't know, I don't know, man. How about something that you did tell your mom that your mom would watch and be okay with seeing? <laughs> I think it was just like, like I told her how um, I went out to a party and like the next day I was like completely sick to my stomach. Like I picked up some stomach bug and after that I'm traumatized to go to parties now. Like I just can't go anymore. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any like academic trauma stories to share? Baker. Lab. <laughs> okay. I would love to hear it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> 2070. If you are a pre-med student, you're going to take Gen Kev 2070 with Stephen Lee. I pray for you every <coughs> single day because that man causes a, a trauma that only him can relate to. It's just like, there's so much hope when you walk into Cornell. I would not suggest you do 2070 from the jump. It's, just, it's not even anything bad. It's just so stressful that I was just like, it knocks your confidence down if you're really like somebody who's not really good at chem. And then he will also knock your confidence down by just whatever he says out of his mouth. Um, but once you get through 2070, I just feel like it gets so much better. Hallelujah. It's just like that's Hallelujah. the like it's just the weed out class. But no, after that, it's good. Just, so you just gotta, a good life. Yeah, yeah, you just gotta pull through. What was the lowest score you got? <sighs> Next question, please. <laughs> <laughs> it don't matter. I passed. <laughs> I don't even remember. It was think, such a blur. I think for me, my first prelim was like a so 40 bad. something. It was like a 43. I was just above the like cutoff where. Dr. Lee recommended that you drop, drop the, the class. class. Like I was just above it. I was like, because he, he said I didn't have to drop it. I was like, okay, we're gonna suffer for the rest of these months. It worked out. It, it worked, worked out. out. It worked out. It yeah. worked out. And, and, and now, and now I'm TAing for him. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many hours of sleep do you get on average? Four. Okay, probably found somebody. <laughs> I thought I got like I get like six, but that's because like my brain is just like you either know it or you don't go to bed. Like that's just it. You heard her. You heard her. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Okay. So hello. Now we're here with Alana Carrasco. Whoa, that's a cool name. That's thank a you. really cool name. Wait, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Texas. I was born in North Florida. My mom's from Brazil. Damn. And then what major are you? Bio. Bio. Okay, good questions then. Okay, so before we get into like more university stuff, I was wondering, what were your like high school GPA, like SAT, ACT? Um, I think my SAT was fifteen thirty, and my GPA was four point. Yeah, no, I was gonna be like, oh, what? No, <laughs> she's waiting. Like no, no, it was like four point three. It was four point three, something like that. That's really good. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make it past the 4.0 mark, guys. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, what made you stand out during your high school, like your college application or in high school, what did you stand out for? Um, well, first of all, I prayed my butt off. Okay. <laughs> I okay. prayed my butt off. I'm here by the mercy and grace of God. Um, second, uh, I think it's the fact that I'm really confident in what I want to do with my life. Damn. I know for a fact. And what, what do you want to do? Neurosurgery. 
must be nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love that. And what sort of advice would you give for students applying now and in the future? Uh, pray hard, work hard, and uh, make sure that you take care of yourself in the middle of that because if you don't take care of yourself, like exercise, eat well, um, do the things that you, you know keep you sane, then you're not going to be able to perform well. You so. heard from a neurosurgeon. <laughs> Future neurosurgeon. <laughs> Future. Okay, um, more of the juicier questions now. So, um, what is one academic trauma story that you want to tell everyone? My physics teacher in high school. He did nothing but play Dungeons and Dragons. He got out his map in the middle of class and played Dungeons and Dragons. Did you pass? Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's all that matters. Okay. Um, and last question is, what is one thing that you've done in college that you do not want your parents to know about? My mm, parents know about everything I do. I have a really good relationship with them. Um, well, I'm putting together a Christmas list for them, so I don't want them to Ooh, I, I'm so getting wholesome. money. <laughs> I'm getting money now, Wait. so they can't know about what I'm gonna spend. That's so cute. Shout show, out so. to your parents because your parents raised you hella well. Thank, <laughs> you, so Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. You. Have a great day. What's your name? Uh, where are you from? Major and where are you from? Yeah, my name is Ethan. I'm from Yonkers. I'm uh, undecided right now because I'm a freshman. Um, and now I'm class of 2026. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Yo, do you want to be in this video? Yeah, sure. Come here, come here. <laughs> come here, too. Come here, yeah, come here. <laughs> okay. Hi. Hi. Holy shit. Wait, wait. I'm going to stand here so I can, like, actually move. Okay. Do you want to be my channel? Yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Name, where are you from, major, and what you from? My name is Liwei. I'm a psychology major. Where you are? Yeah. Oh, actually, okay. What was the last question? No, where, where are you from? Yeah. I'm from New York City. Mm -hmm. uh, William, I'm also from New York City. I'm um, a statistics major. No, I had this for a while. No, no. I had that too. Okay, uh, really quickly, just going around, what, just say your high school GPA and like SAT that you got. Okay. Yeah. High school GPA was 3.9. And then I got like 34 composite on ACT yeah, like and that. then like 35 student score. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, uh, I went to Brooklyn Technical High School. I don't know, 102 average. How the f- okay. Uh, what was the last question? You want? <laughs> That's, yeah, that was my question. How the f- <laughs> <laughs> And then um, ACT? Oh, uh, SAT was 1550. Yeah, okay. Uh, Towson Harris High School, uh, 4 point GPA, uh, 1560. Um, must be nice. <laughs> okay, um, really quickly, what did you write your college application about? <laughs> Literally, we come here, you stay there, stay there. <laughs> Can you stay there? Do you have time? Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, really quickly, um, so what kind of um, essay did you write about? Um, like, yeah, any details or that like you like the personal one? Yeah, or uh, the Co Cornell one. Whatever you think is cool. Okay, yeah. yeah. I wrote mine like about risk taking. I talked a lot about like thrill seeking, like cliff jumping, snowboarding, things like that, and how that like helped me overcome personal anxieties. Um, so for my com common, my personal statement, I wrote about my mom, and then about for the uh, arts and sciences supplement, I talked about how um, I just want to take advantage of all 14 colleges in Korea, because as an arts and sciences, you get to you get access to basically all the colleges. So if you're applying to arts and sciences, just say how you want to want to learn about everything. Um, I usually talk about becoming a high school teacher at first and how like you know, a lot of the things I want to study are really good and great, but I feel like no, applying that knowledge and helping students out, that's like something that interests me the most, and that's why I do the sciences. So that's why I talk about it. Oh, that's so fun. Okay. And then um, just some juicier questions. Um, how much sleep do you get on average? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'd say like yeah, exactly. six hours a day. I get like nine hours. <laughs> Wait, why is like nobody going below six? Like, I actually don't understand that. I'll be direct. Uh, yeah. Four. yeah, we found. Let's someone. go. Okay. Um, what is one thing that you've done in college that you don't want your parents to know about? Mm, well, I kind of like tell my parents everything. I don't know. Uh, I don't like like except for like personal stuff, like interpersonal relationship stuff. In terms of like partying, I don't know. My parents don't really care. Yeah. I'm passing this one. <laughs> uh, I've had like three shots of vodka once. Oh, my, par wow, my parents want me to start slow. I want to be a bad boy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The last question is just what is an academic trauma that you want to tell? That you've faced. My brain, like, 
I haven't been seeing you that long, so, um, but like getting cold called in class is brutal, like especially just not having done anything, like getting cold called, but I, I haven't been here long enough to have any like actual trauma. Fair. How about you? Anything? Yeah, Alright, so for my psych prelim, right, I low-key thought I got 100, I was like telling my mom and they were like, yo, that shit was easy as fuck, right? Bro, I got a fucking 58. Wait, proud. what did you choke on? Huh? Choke everything, on? literally everything. I got points off for every single question. Okay. Was the average curved? That shit was not curved, but the average is like a 90, bro. Been there, done. You're chilling, you're chilling. I'm not gonna see the class, but I got like 20 points below the, the average on my first PLM. It was okay, but I, just, I think it didn't hit the mark for me though. So we're getting help. Okay, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, what is this? What is this YouTube channel? Check it out on YouTube. Whoa, what's this YouTube channel? Uh, Jazz and Man. Um, so I'm with Chad. Chad. <laughs> Yo. Yo, red flag. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, so really quickly, where are you from? What major are you in? What year? Um, I'm from Potomac, Maryland. I'm a sophomore studying math and science. <laughs> yeah, okay, so um, what was your high school stat GPA? Oh, my GPA? Yeah. Okay. I had like a weighted 4.8. I was like a 1580 STT. Do you mind sharing what you wrote your personal statement on? Or is that too personal? Um, not really. I kind of just wrote about like how my life was kind of like mundane and school, but like how I kind of like enjoyed that, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Some like philosophical shit. You know. <laughs> okay, I love it. <laughs> um, and so for like people that are applying in the future, who would you, like, what would you recommend? Um, I'd say just like do a lot of extracurriculars, um, do what you like, and ultimately like just be yourself in the college education process. Be real. Be real. Be real. Yeah. Okay, some yeah. juicier questions. Yeah. So on average, as a math and CS major, how much do you sleep, truthfully? Um, I'd say like six hours. Why do they sleep more than like most people we know? Wait a minute. Do you want to be in this afterwards? What is it? A YouTube video? I'm uh, sure. Yeah, okay. Come, come join right now. Come join. Come join. <laughs> <laughs> so another question is, uh, what's an academic trauma game that you guys have? I think just studying a lot for a Yeah, okay, and then for you, how much hours of sleep do you get? This past week, it's been like 90 minutes a night. But what? Wait, wait, what major are you stop? What major I'm what a year? pre-med. Oh, yeah. Okay. But normally it's like a good seven hours, I'd say. Seven hours? Okay. And like, do you mind me asking just really quickly where you're from? Yes. Yeah. I'm from New York City. I'm Sam. Um, sophomore. Nice <laughs> I'm a bio major in arts and science. And uh, what do you think you, is the reason why you got into this? Honestly, probably my high school. And my high school did you go to? I went to Horace Mann. It's in New York. Horace Mann? Do you know? No. Okay. It's yeah, a funny but, name though. Um, yeah, probably that, honestly. It's kind of a school, but love. Well, yeah. Okay. Any advice you would give for high school students right now? Um, don't buy too much into the whole like doing extracurriculars for <laughs> your your like college degree because like obviously it's hard for me to say because I'd like to think that I did stuff like for fun but you know also in the end I did get it so it's you know hard for me to tell but like I think if you focus on having fun you'll have a lot better of a time in high school and like where you end up you'll be happy no matter what you heard her yeah so thank you so much to you both thank you thank you thank you so much so nice to meet you thank you I'm Jasmine I'm with Hi, I'm Serena. Yeah. And where are you from, major and year? Um, I'm from Taiwan. My major is environment and sustainability. I'm uh, 26. No, that's like a cool. Like I'm actually not married. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's chill. Um, okay. Next question is, what were your high school stats and like so GPA? I heard you guys got blown up. Um, my GPA was like a 3.96 out of 4.0, and my SAT was like 15.60, and my total was 119. <laughs> okay. Um, what do you think made you stand? Oh, I thought she was gonna run over Andrea. I felt his wind. <laughs> um, what do you think made you stand out in high school? Like. Essay, and then what did you write about like your essay? 
I think what made me stand out was like my leadership uh, focus. So I was like announced to like student council, and I was like head of a student club in my school. And in my essay for my personal statement, I wrote about my grandma, about my culture, because I'm an international student. So I wrote about like my international background. For the Cornell essay, I think. It was an essay I actually did like very last minute, and um, it was about the environment as well. Cause like I talked about my background, how it relates to the environment, and why it like encouraged me to like choose my major. I don't know if I want to apply. Okay, um, like, do you have any tips for people that want to apply for similar majors? Like, what makes Cornell stand out for me? Cause I know you're major. Mm. Yeah, so I feel like because Cornell, I'm in like Cal School of Agriculture and Life Sciences, like Cornell there's lots of like nature stuff, there's mountains, there's like fields, you could do lots of like field research, and so I think Cornell is really suitable for that major and for tips, um, you could do some like research stuff before getting into Cornell. Yeah, love. Okay, and some juicier questions, so how much sleep do you actually get on a daily basis? In Cornell? Yeah. I get like eight hours of sleep. Like, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> where, where are the people that don't sleep? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, because like I have to get eight hours of sleep to function. If I don't get enough sleep, like at night, I will also get some nap, like in the library and stuff. So yeah. makes sense. Makes sense. And then last question is, um, okay, I'll let you choose which one. Do you want to do the trauma story one or the thing that you never told? Yeah, you want to Wait, okay. I think both are really hard. Okay, okay. I'm gonna ask both of them to you then. Okay. Um, what is one thing that you have done but you don't want to tell your parents? In Cornell, that um, I actually prioritize partying over studying. So I've been to like so many parties, but I've never been to like a single student hour. <laughs> <laughs> this weekend. This weekend. Yeah, 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 totally. Oh, we could film the vlog. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Um, last question. Um, what is an academic trauma story? If you've gotten any, or are you just like a good worker? Yeah, I feel like. Um, so I only have two prelims, and I thought I did really great on my bio prelim, but it turns out I'm like below average. Our average was 97, which is like, why what? is everyone in Cornell so smart, right? Wait. Biology? Yeah, biology. 97? Yeah, take this bio class, people. It's called, uh, it's called Bioevolution. Yo, bio Evolution and Biological Diversity. You heard her. Okay, thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. Y'all, right after this, Andrea just got a common app. Wait, what does it say? My FBI agent in there. He's listening. He's oh, listening. shit. <laughs> oh, we got, we got. We got. <laughs> your FBI agent and your phone, <laughs> really. Mr. Tegan, wish you the. Best of luck right after. This is fate. God damn. <laughs> but now we're going to, into the Cornell store and we're going to go see if we want anything here because she has coupons. <gasps> Where am I? Cornell store.